Hey guys, Nerd Activity here. Uh, we have Warrior Class Bumblebee from the new Transformers Robot in Disguise series uh, that's set to uh, premiere over in the United States on uh, March 14th on the Cartoon Network. Uh, this Bumblebee is part of the uh, Warrior Class line and um, you know, shape-wise it looks pretty accurate to the uh, cartoon, to the, to the stills that I've seen so far up to this point. Um, it feels pretty good on your hand. Uh, it's, it has some weight to it, so it's not too flimsy, not too light. Um, overall, the shape of the car looks really nice. Um, the only thing that I would have um, to gripe about is that there's not much detailing on the car. The wheels are just uh, flat black. There's no uh, taillight details. Um, but, you know, some people have tutorials online how to kind of make it more screen accurate, and you can find those on YouTube pretty easily. Um, this Bumblebee also does come with the uh, Star Saber. This was, uh, for those of you that watched the Transformer Prime series, um, you'll recognize the sword that Bumblebee uses. So um, I guess it's pretty fitting that uh, it, it accompanies him in this new series. It's supposed to be a continuation of um, a few years down the road from the uh, Transformer Prime's uh, series. So uh, we're going to go ahead and start the uh, transformation of this Bumblebee. Okay, so let's start the uh, transformation process of uh, Bumblebee. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, not, nothing too, too complicated as compared to like the uh, Transformer Prime's edition one. Um, those were just really flimsy and, and really complicated trans, uh, transform, even though they look very nice in both the robot and the car form. So uh, for the Bumblebee, what we need to do first is to kind of remove these door panels off of the uh, so side attached to the vehicle. And what they'll do is actually that they will snap back um, to kind of open up the rest of the transformation. And then the next thing you want to do is go ahead and um, start separating it down the middle, the uh, top of the car. Uh, once that's separated, you pull it up and off, separate the legs, and the uh, arms pop out. Um, these are nice and tight, so um, they look like there's a lot of posability, shouldn't be a problem here. And you want to go ahead and give the bottom torso uh, a twist, 180 degree twist. And then go ahead and slide that windshield windows and back windshield down, down behind. So, and then the uh, feet flip down, arms are out, and go ahead and then this was the trunk and then you go ahead and you flip that open to reveal Bumblebee's head so so there you have it uh, not one of the more difficult transformations I think it's uh, rather simplistic compared to the uh, other ones that we've had in uh, recent past but you know as you can see here uh, this Bumblebee uh, robot figure looks very nice um, if there's one complaint that I do have as you can see um, Bumble's Bumblebee's feet are tiny and there's no counterweight in the back so so uh, getting him to stand up uh, is going to be a bit of a challenge every once in a while but um, overall the head I think the head is on a ball joint so there is some articulation um, there so you look up look down left right um, looks pretty nice I think it, it is light pipe so so if light hits it in the back it, the, you will see the light come through in the eyes here uh, the shoulders uh, are on joints here and then like the elbows hinge so you can actually go left right and then up down uh, the hand uh, will hold the star saber so there you go and then the waist of course you know from the transformation process that you saw that the waist will turn so which is nice and then uh, same thing with the the hips there is a lot of movement available involved all the joints are really tight so so that's nice uh, so though your action figure will actually stay in place and then the uh, knees there's also um, some some give in the knees that you could actually uh, flex in and give so you know besides the feet um, you know overall I think this uh, bumblebee looks really nice really really accurate to the screen um, again my only complaint um, is that like uh, they could have probably used a little bit more detailing to to make him really pop out but overall I'm still really happy with the figure um, it looks really nice uh, even from the profile from the side uh, and 
overall, yeah, this one will be is a great start to the new series. Um, and then also for those of you that notice this here, this is part of like their app game that they have also come out with in parallel um, to that robot line. So you could actually find that on in the uh, um, Apple iTunes App Store or or the uh, Android Google Play Store. So um, and then you scan this in, and then the robots come up in the game. So. Um, overall, this is Bumblebee, and um, yeah, we really like it. So you know, check. Uh, we're planning on doing some other videos um, of all the other Warrior class lines that have come out so far up to this point. So uh, make sure to check us out on our website, nerdactivity.com, our our Twitter, and um, our Facebook and Instagram page. So um, again, this is Warrior class Bumblebee from the new Transformers Robot in Disguise line. We'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.